Hi, welcome to T's World. Long time no see. Welcome to a week in the life of a third year medical student studying at UNSW Medicine. This was two years ago, but bear with me. So this was in the term Adult Health 1 or AH1. Essentially, throughout third year, we have six rotations. So AH1, AH2, um, on Compel Care or OPC, SH, Society and Health, Opgyn Peds under Beginnings Growth Development or BGD and finally ACR, Aged Care and Rehab. My memory is a bit rusty but I think AH1 was mainly about cardio, resp and gastro. This was our first time learning how to scrub in and just wearing scrubs and being in the OR or operating room, operating theatre. So as all medical students we were very excited and I decided to document this moment. <laughs> You're going to push the just because nothing just matches the pure excitement that I felt in that moment. <laughs> we have an audit next. So yeah, bear with me. I know it's a little bit cringe, but this was truly a moment where I was very excited. So it's something that I want to keep in my memory as part of documenting the process of becoming a doctor eventually. So that's me with Rio. Um, this was when we were preparing to join the OR to watch uh, gastro surgery, I believe. So I think it, I think we were following a colorectal consultant, um, and essentially I forgot what the case was, but it was probably just a simple gallbladder removal. Oh, it was either like removing polyps um, or gallbladder removal. So coli, cholecystectomy. What I do remember from this was that the consultant was super chill um, but the anesthesiologist that we were with was even more chill and he provided pretty good life advice. Um, I remember asking him for you know, advice on how do you want to know which specialty you want to go to, how did you end up choosing this specialty and... <laughs> basically drew a lot of diagrams on the whiteboard. Um, he basically talks a lot about how you need to decide, you know. Hi, I'm back from the dead. <laughs> yeah. I think that rhymes. I just had a sore throat. So this is, this is Annie Palmer. She's actually a rapper, as you can just tell. What did I rhyme? Bread with dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bars, actual bars. And then next to her is, she's in deep thought. Aww. Whether you like surgery or you don't like surgery, whether you like procedures or you don't want to do procedures or you want to do a mix of procedures and also in terms of your interests um, and you kind of pick from there. At this point in time I was a very newbie excited um, med student having just been unleashed into the hospital after two years of Covid so I was just yeah really over excited. But yeah, as you can tell, my voice sounds a bit dead in this voiceover just because it's been a long day and as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm in fifth year. I am nearing towards the end of my very first fifth year phase three placement, which is family care or GP. So it's been quite interesting to see how I've changed and I've grown over time. Something that I loved a lot about third year was the community that we had. So the fact that everyone would share classes, our sequence was really tight knit. We would always, you know, have lunch together, go to the cafe, see a few patients, examine and take histories together, learn together and all that good stuff. But comparing that to now in fifth year, you're a lot more on your own, a lot more independent and you're normally assigned with a team, normally on your own or at most with one or two other students. So far on both of my placements, I've been alone. So it does take some getting used to, but yeah, it's interesting to just enter this new phase of life. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> Nicole's laughing in the background. Dude, every video she's saying Nicole's laughing. Why are you always laughing, Nicole? We have an it's audit at 11. Yeah. Currently so it is... is editing this video, I'm really reminiscing on you know, all the good days how chilled and how relaxed we were back then. All the good chats in the student common room, just talking about nothing and everything and what we learned. In AH1, we did a presentation on a case that we all saw. So that's what we were talking about here. Um, you could either do the case on medicine or surgery. I chose to do a case on medicine. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 
So there were different questions for either medicine or surgery. Something else that we had to do, which you'll see me and Jenny do later, is what was called an audit. So we had to do an audit presentation. And me and Jenny decided to do an audit on, I think it was pressure injury. Oh, I just did my audit with Wait, Jenny. This is Jenny. And an order is basically just go around, you create a checklist and you see whether um, the wards have met that checklist by interviewing patients or talking to staff or just through pure observation. But yeah, looking back, I'm really glad I recorded a lot of third year, but I also wonder how I had so much time on my hands. I am. I guess it's a good thing, but honestly, at this point, I'm going to be an intern year and still making vlogs on like fifth year, given that I'm behind by two years. <laughs> Me and Jenny went first, as you can see. So we got to relax and spent the rest of the time just listening to all the other students' presentations. And once again, here's us back in our favorite place, the common room, um, eating more food. Keep in mind, this is all filmed throughout the span of one week. I have noodles. I can't see. <laughs> yeah. Is that spare or here? It's um Vietnamese. Yeah, it's Vietnamese. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I will see you. Oh wait, wait. What do you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after so we were in the common room during a quick break to reheat our lunch. So now we're back in the debrief room. This time we're listening to the second batch of audit presentations. And here's me just enjoying my lunch. Very carefree. Um, you know how it is in third year. But yeah, no one asked, but piece of advice. If you're in third year right now, I would advise you to try and make the most of it socially. <laughs> in terms of seeing your friends, you know, because you see them pretty much almost every day if you go to class consistently, which you should. Um, but also make sure to try and see a lot of patients, take a lot of histories and exams, just to practice due to your OSCEs at the end of the year. They can really tell, and also you yourself can tell, whether or not you've done a lot, a lot of practice on the OSCEs, because I think a lot of it is just memorization. It does get a lot easier the more you do it, because it becomes muscle memory after a while. You're still doing audit presentation? Something fun which I think you guys will like is we had a class um, or like a training session for our clinical skills white book which we all have to get done. So basically you have to do a range of skills such as cannulas, taking bloods, um, speculum exam and so forth, mostly on models. So here today we're learning how to do a butterfly bedding puncture which is very exciting. So the sharp thing is what's called a bevel and the green thing is that's just the butterfly clip. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to palpate for a vein. So normally it will feel very bouncy. You feel around and then you use um, an alcohol swab to make sure the area is sterile. And then um, you just pop in the butterfly clip and if it's in the vein, you should get flashback, which is red. I don't know if you can see here, but you can search up YouTube videos. So you can use, use your other hand to do the syringe, to aspirate. <laughs> you got it. Oh, you can. So as you can see, that's flashback from the model. And when you see that, you just aspirate slowly and let the blood come out. Yep, so that's venue puncture. Um, when you take bloods, you will have tubes which have different colours and are for different purposes as well. So, for example, if you want to do, I don't know, full blood count, it will be a certain colour. Um, versus like iron studies, that will be a different colour and so forth. And there's actually an order for the colour uh, of tubes that you're supposed to collect blood in. <laughs> so that was Rio doing butterfly venue puncture, and now it's me! Um, and then we also learnt, uh, we also had white book training on how to do cannulas. Yeah, so as you can see, after you get the cannula in, what you're going to do is you're going to use the saline flush. 
um, okay. which will tell you whether or not the cannula is in the vein Wait, properly. Do I, do I just if it's not, the skin will start swelling. So at that point, you should take out the cannula immediately. And then if you see any swelling, it means you're not in a vein. It means you're in the tissue. There's no, but swelling. There's no swelling, so you're in the vein. Which at that point, you should take out the cannula immediately. And then normally after you do the cannula, you're supposed to dress it. But I don't think we had bandages. Yeah. But that was mainly the gist of the training session. If you're interested, I would recommend just searching up, you know, butterfly venue puncture. Um, and then also searching up oh, how to insert an IV cannula. We are at, oh my forehead. Anyways, we are at the venue puncture. We did cancellations. I just not taped at all, but don't worry about that. There's a lot of great videos on YouTube, which I watch. I like to watch Geeky Medics, so I would recommend their videos. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> one day. So after a long, long day, here's me many hours later eating my cereal and snacks and getting ready to go home. Psych! I decided to stay back and study for some reason. Um, yeah, my advice in third year is you don't need to stay back unless you're really, really keen on doing a certain skill. For example, if you really want to practice cannulas or you really want to practice IV venue punctures or there's like a patient that you would like to examine or see or an uh, interesting me. surgical case that's Wait. happening, Wait. then stay Wait. back. <laughs> I'm just destroyed. Chips. Yeah, otherwise just feel free to go home, meet up with your friends, enjoy the sunshine. Hi guys and welcome to Tea's World. This is a phrase that's been repeated to me by so many of my seniors above me. And in third year, I didn't really get it. But now, as a fifth year, I get it, so yeah. But basically, just do whatever you want. I think the gist of it is whenever you're in hospital, just make sure that when you're staying there, besides attendance requirements, that you're staying there with the purpose. So if there's nothing that you can get out, then maybe just study and go home instead. You gave me a milkshake yesterday. Do you know what? I did, I did like it, but... <laughs> but obviously, if there's something that's really interesting, like I mentioned before, some examples, then stay back for a little bit and watch. <laughs> because they're offered, they were like, up one hour. But also, it's not the end of the world if you are unlucky and never get to see anything interesting at all. Because you will have rotations in fifth year and you'll actually be attached to a team properly, mostly on your own or with one other person. So you can actually be a lot more involved and you can ask a lot more questions. As a third year, I felt like a nuisance most of the time um, and I'm sure this feeling may still persist in fifth year, but I think it's a lot better in fifth. Like I said, just because there's less medical students around, so you're less in the way and also again because you're attached to a team. So yeah, this is me eating my lunch. Um, yeah. Mm. Now they're taking those things separately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, me, Jesse, Rio, and Kevin would have this thing where we would just eat hot chips so often here that I swear, like, I don't even know how many times I had hot chips, maybe at least once or twice a week. But there was just something special about the flavor here. I think it was the chicken salt. And something that we would always get would be the iced chocolate. Anyways, that was very nostalgic, so I'm gonna get it next time if I come back here. Finally, to conclude, we went out at the end of that week just to chill out, and we got malatang. So it was not bad, it was, you know, just your standard malatang. I don't like spice, so I got the, I think it's just the bone broth. Um, yeah. With lots of meat, noodles, fish cake, and I really like the potato noodles because they're very like chewy. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time for more week in the life of medical student blogs. I'll be continuing this series as third year and then eventually fourth year and fifth year. I'll see you in the next video. Love, tea.